Hello, today I'd like to show you a little demo of the Starline Connected Cars Network at starline.online. It's a GSM GPS GLONASS vehicle security and tracking management interface. It basically enables you to connect to your car remotely to monitor and actively control its security. And of course, you have 24 seven access to a live map where you can see your car's current location as well as travel histories. You can actually see the car travel on a live map which is the main thing we'll be looking at today and by the way the best bit is at the end of the video so make sure you don't miss it now let's log in and take a look so the first screen we're shown is this, the home screen, and we'll need to select which Starline system we want to manage from the list in case we have several cars that are using Starline set slide services. If you're a private user, you'll likely have a single unit up there, but obviously if you're a fleet manager, you will have a longer list of cars to choose from. So now let's go with the first one on our list, the S96. We can immediately see the status of the vehicle in real time. So as you can see, its engine is currently running and the key is present. And by the way, you can use your mobile app to view the same exact information. We're just using the browser for convenience. So the next thing we want to do is locate the vehicle on this live map. And what we're seeing now is the car is uh, southeast bound and moving along the A3220 road at 32 kilometers per hour. Uh, we can see the change in speed in real time as the vehicle travels. So now it has changed to two kilometers per hour. And by the way, this has actually been streamlined for demonstration purposes. The tracking screen will in fact refresh about every 20 seconds or so. And what you're seeing now is considerably faster. This is just to give you an idea of how live tracking works and what it looks like on a live map. And by the way, see that white box that shows you the speed and the direction? Well, if the information in that box is missing at any point, or if the uh, box goes blank, it means that the vehicle has either stopped moving altogether or it's moving at less than five kilometers per hour, which usually happens when you're parking or when you're stuck in heavy traffic. And as I said before, you can actually do the same thing from your mobile app. Uh, the screen will obviously be smaller and the um, interface is slightly different, but it's essentially the same thing. Starline tracking uses potential technologies to ensure unparalleled precision when tracking and monitoring an object. The tracking happens via a GPS GLONASS satellite receiver and makes use of Starline's own hypersensitive TM technology, which means that you get reliable and accurate data transmission even in extremely challenging weather conditions. The Russian GLONASS has actually been reported by the Forbes to be the most reliable satellite receiver in the world. Now let's fast forward a little bit and skip ahead to where the car arrives at its destination. And here we are, we can see that the speed has dropped to one kilometer per hour, which means that we're either stuck in traffic or parking, seeing that it's a residential area, traffic isn't likely, so it must be parking. And indeed, as you can see on your left, the engine is no longer running and the doors open. And now the door has closed again and let's watch what happens now. The headlights have flashed and a dome has come over the car, which means that the vehicle security system has been armed and we're in full protection mode. Now, let's suppose we want to view our travel history. So if you navigate to movements, the pin like icon on your left, it will let you select the period of time that you're interested in and show you the whole travel history and events for that period. Now, let's look at today. And uh, actually, this was the first and only trip that we've made today. So that's what's displayed to us at the moment. The whole trip from point A to point B. Actually, you can do that in real time when the car is still moving. But obviously, the data would be incomplete as the car hadn't reached its destination yet. Well, now it has. And so far today, like I said, this is the only trip we've made. So there isn't much to see yet. So perhaps what we're going to do now is skip ahead again to the end of the day and see what the map looks like once we've driven around some more. The cat 
so fast forward to the end of the day and we've been driving around a lot so now we can see detailed feedback on our daily trips and what we're seeing now is an overview of everything that's been happening with our vehicle for the period we've selected which is today these colorful bubbles that you're seeing now they're very easy to understand i'll explain them briefly the blue ones indicate a stop points or parking points so when the vehicle stop moving for under five minutes and then resumes movement that would be considered a short stop whereas when the car's been idle for more than five minutes the system will record that as parking you can adjust these conditions yourself by the way from the main settings menu also if you're interested in any particular short stop or parking point at any particular time you can select that from the left hand menu and it automatically finds that particular parking point on the map for you and displays additional information about it next up we have the green bubbles these are what we call events so basically when you see a green bubble it means that at that point there's been some sort of manipulation done to the vehicle you might have opened or closed the door uh, you might have armed or disarmed the vehicle security system uh, ignition might have come on or off you might have applied the handbrake and things like that in other words these are status updates from the vehicle you can also go to the um, left hand menu and click on the clock icon which will then show you a timeline of events for any particular period as you can see now you can scroll down and see all of them so from when we first used the vehicle today which was around nine ish this morning to uh, quarter to 10 was it p.m. when we parked it for the night uh, you can see everything that's been happening in between And now lastly, we have the orange bubbles. These are basically used by the system to assemble information with regards to your driving style and quality. So it can then give you feedback as to how good a driver you are. So if you click on the fourth icon in the upper left pane, on the left, the star icon, it will then show you your score for today. Let's have a look. Well, apparently, we've been a good driver today, scoring a cool 90%. You can also see how many people are currently using the service, nearly 2 million, and how you rank amongst them. If you want to know how the driving style score is worked out, you can click on the blue question mark within the current screen and read all about it. And here's another useful feature for you. The system will generate automatic PDF reports with active clickable links within. You can download these reports or you can view them in your browser using a Google style map. So you find a trip or a parking spot you're interested in, click on that and this is what you will get. And there's the get PDF option top left corner. Click on that and you will be able to download the report as a PDF document. Of course, these reports are particularly useful for fleet managers, but can also come in handy for private users. You can download a report for any period of time you're interested in. There's no limit as to how long they're stored. So today we've looked at an example of Starline's live tracking feature, but this is actually a very small portion of what joining the Starline Connected Cars Network will enable you to do. With one of our connected car packages, you'll be in control of your vehicle at all times from anywhere in the world. Your vehicle security is literally at your fingertips with Starline. You can call your car, you can send their text message command, or you can use your browser or your smartphone app to access the control panel at any time. You will receive an instant notification of any security a breach. You can preheat or pre-cool the vehicle. You can enable or disable the anti-hijack mode and kill the car's engine remotely on demand. You can put it in maintenance mode. You can set geo fences. You can set sensitivity for the built-in dual zone sensors, the impact, the tilt, and the motion sensor. And you can then adjust it anytime via your mobile app. You can even make use of Starline Smart Diagnostics TM service, meaning that you can read any error or service message from the car's onboard diagnostics board. You can enable or disable the hands-free modes and use your smartphone in addition to or instead of a pin code or tag for owner recognition before the vehicle can actually be driven. And that's not all still. There's a lot more you can do with the Starline system in terms of security and comfort upgrades. And the interface is super user-friendly, very responsive, very customizable. You can set it up to do exactly what you want it to do. 
And more importantly though, the primary purpose of any Starline system is to give you a product based on modern technologies and unique solutions designed to counter all known methods of theft, including the very latest digital ones. Starline systems on the sixth generation platform are Canvas based, which means that you don't have to carry around any additional fobs or pages or anything like that. You will continue using your Cast Factory fob the same way you always have, but you get a massive security upgrade with multiple layers of protection and your car is permanently connected to the internet, so you're in total control of it at all times. And remember what I promised at the beginning of the video? Well, here it is, the best bit. All of this and plenty more comes free of charge. That's right, you get a free lifetime subscription and unlimited access to all the features shown before at Starline's connected cars network, starline.online, as well as a three-year equipment warranty and free lifetime updates. But there is a catch. Your product must be genuine purchased in the UK from one of our authorized dealers and installed by an approved technician with a valid and checkable partner ID. Starline equipment cannot be purchased for DIY installation and can only be obtained from and installed by an approved individual or company. So join the connected cast community with Starline and I hope to see you on the inside. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.